Right now, in this very moment, you have the power to change your life. You are the creator of your reality. And today we're going to talk about how to tap into that incredible power within you. It all starts with two simple words, relax and trust. Think about it. How often do we spend our days rushing around, stressed out, worried about what might happen? We're constantly on edge trying to control everything around us. But what if I told you that the key to getting everything you want is actually to let go? That's right. The secret to manifesting your desires, to creating the life of your dreams, is to relax and trust. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? But it's a profound truth that can transform your entire existence. When you relax, you open yourself up to the infinite possibilities of the universe. Your mind becomes clear, your body becomes calm, and you create space for miracles to happen. And when you trust, you align yourself with the natural flow of life. You stop fighting against the current and start moving with it. When you use the really exciting part, when you combine relaxation and trust with expectation, that's when the magic happens. That's when you start to see results, not in some distant future, but right here, right now, today. So many of us have been conditioned to believe that change takes time, that we need to work hard, struggle, and suffer before we can achieve our goals. But what if I told you that's not true? What if I told you that you can expect miracles to happen the same day you set your intention? It might sound too good to be true, but I've seen it happen time and time again. I've witnessed people heal from chronic illnesses, manifest their dream jobs, find their soulmates, all in a matter of days or even hours, and it all started with them deciding to relax, trust, and expect great things to happen. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Joe, I've tried positive thinking before. I've tried visualizing. It didn't work for me, and I hear you. I really do. But here's the thing. It's not just about thinking positive thoughts or visualizing. what you It's about feeling it. It's about embodying the reality you desire right now in this very moment. When you truly relax and trust, you enter a state of being where anything is possible. Your body releases tension, your mind becomes clear, and you tap into a field of infinite potential. In this state, you're no longer separate from your desires. You become one with them. And here's where expectation comes in. When you expect something to happen, you're not hoping for it or wishing for it. You're knowing it. You're living as if it's already happened. And that's when the universe starts to respond. You see, the universe doesn't understand the difference between what's happening in your outer world and what's happening in your inner world. When you can create the feeling of having what you want before it actually manifests in your physical reality, that's when you become a true creator. So how do we do this? How do we relax, trust, and expect miracles to happen today? It all starts with your thoughts and your energy. Every thought you think sends out a signal to the universe. It's like dropping a pebble in a pond. The ripples spread out, affecting everything around you. When you think thoughts of lack, of fear, of worry, you're sending out a signal that creates more of those experiences in your life. But when you choose to think thoughts of abundance, of love, of possibility, you're creating a whole different reality. You're tuning into a different frequency, one where miracles are not only possible but expected. And it's not just about your thoughts. It's about your energy, your vibration. Every emotion you feel is sending out a signal to the universe. When you feel stressed, anxious, or frustrated, you're vibrating at a low frequency. But when you can relax, when you can trust, when you can feel joy and gratitude even before your desires manifest, that's when you're vibrating at a frequency that attracts miracles. So how do we shift our thoughts and our energy? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to what you're thinking and feeling throughout the day. Notice when you're caught up in stress or worry, and then make a conscious choice to shift. Take a deep breath. Feel your body relax, and then ask yourself, what would I be thinking right now if I truly believed that everything was working out perfectly for me? How would I feel if I knew that my desires were already on their way to me? This is where meditation comes in. When you meditate, you create space between your thoughts. You step out of the constant chatter of your mind and into a place of peace and possibility. In this space, you can start to reprogram your subconscious mind. You see, most of our thoughts and behaviors are controlled by our subconscious mind. It's like an autopilot that's been programmed by our past experiences, our beliefs, our environment. But when we meditate, we can access this subconscious mind and start to change the program. In meditation, you can visualize your desired reality. But remember, it's not just about seeing it in your mind's eye. It's about feeling it with every cell of your body. What would it feel like to have perfect health? 
what would it feel like to be financially abundant? What would it feel like to be in a loving, supportive relationship? As you sit in meditation, allow yourself to fully embody these feelings. Let them wash over you. Let them fill you up. And as you do this, you're literally changing your brain chemistry. You're creating new neural pathways that support your new reality. But here's the can't. Just do this once and expect miracles to happen. This needs to become a daily practice. Every day, take time to relax, to trust, to expect great things. Make it as much a part of your routine as brushing your teeth or eating breakfast. And as you do this, pay attention to the signs around you. The universe is always communicating with us, always guiding us towards our highest good. But so often, we're too busy, too stressed, too caught up in our own thoughts to notice. When you relax and trust, you become more attuned to these signs. You start to notice synchronicities, those little coincidences that seem too perfect to be random. Maybe you think of someone and they call you moments later, or you keep seeing the same number everywhere you look, or you overhear a conversation that gives you exactly the information you need. These are all signs that you're on the right track. They're confirmations from the universe that it's heard your desires and is working to bring them to you. But you have to be open to receiving them. You have to trust that they're there. Brings us to another important point. Gratitude, when you're grateful for what you already have, you open yourself up to receiving more. It's like telling the universe, hey, I really appreciate everything you've given me. I'm ready for more. So make gratitude a part of your daily practice. Every morning when you wake up, before you even get out of bed, think of three things you're grateful for. Feel the gratitude in your body. Let it fill you up. And then carry that feeling with you throughout your day. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. But Joe, what about action? Don't we need to do something to make our dreams come true? And you're absolutely right. Action is important. But it's not about forcing things to happen or struggling against the current. When you're relaxed, when you're trusting, when you're expecting great things to happen, the right actions will become clear to you. You'll feel inspired to take certain steps. You'll be in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. Opportunities will present themselves to you. This is what I call inspired action. It's not about pushing and striving. It's about flowing with the natural current of life. It's about following your intuition, trusting your gut, and taking steps that feel right to you. And you're taking inspired action. It doesn't feel like work. It feels like play. It feels like you're doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. And that's when miracles start to happen. Now, let's talk about expectation. This is where so many people trip up. They say they want something, but deep down, they don't really believe it's possible for them. They have doubts, fears, limiting beliefs that hold them back. But when you truly expect something to happen, when you know it in your bones, that's when the universe moves mountains to make it happen. And the key to expectation is to detach from the outcome. What do I mean by that? Well, when we're attached to a specific outcome, we're often coming from a place of lack. We're saying, I need this to happen or else I won't be happy. And that energy of need, of desperation, actually pushes our desires away from us. But when we can detach from the outcome, when we can say, I'd love for this to happen, but I know that Whatever happens is for my highest good. That's when we open ourselves up to receive even more than we could have imagined. So expect great things to happen, but hold that expectation lightly. Trust that the universe has a plan for you that's even better than what you can conceive with your limited human mind. And remember, expectation isn't about waiting for something to happen in the future. It's about living as if it's already happened. It's about bringing the future into the present moment. So often, we put our happiness on hold. We say, I'll be happy when I get that job, or I'll feel successful when I make a certain amount of money, or I'll feel loved when I find the right partner. But the truth is, you can feel all of those things right now. You can feel successful before you make your first million. You can feel love before you meet your soulmate. You can feel healthy before the physical symptoms disappear. And when you can create those feelings within yourself, That's when you become a magnet for the experiences that match those feelings. This is what it means to live in the end result. It's about embodying the version of yourself that already has everything you desire. How would that version of you think? How would they feel? How would they carry themselves? How would they speak? Start living as that version of yourself today. Don't wait for external circumstances to change. Be the change you want to see in your life. Now, 
I know this might sound challenging. I know it might feel like a big leap from where you are now to where you want to be. But remember, you don't have to make this leap all at once. You can start small. Start with just five minutes a day. Sit quietly, close your eyes, and imagine yourself living your ideal life. Feel the feelings associated with that life. Let them fill your body. And then when you open your eyes, carry those feelings with you into your day. As you do this consistently, you'll start to notice changes. Maybe at first it's just small things. You feel a little more peaceful. You handle stress a little better. You notice more moments of joy throughout your day. But as you continue this practice, as you make it a regular part of your life, you'll start to see bigger changes. Opportunities will start to present themselves. People will be drawn to your energy. Things that used to bother you won't affect you as much. And before you know it, you'll look around and realize that your life has transformed. Not because you struggled and pushed and forced things to happen, but because you relaxed, trusted, and expected great things to come to you. Now, I want to address something that often comes up when we talk about manifesting our desires. Some people worry that it's selfish to focus on what we want. They think that wanting more for ourselves somehow takes away from others. But here's the truth. When you raise your vibration, when you create a better life for yourself, you raise the vibration of everyone around you. Your joy, your success, your abundance doesn't take away from anyone else. In fact, it inspires others to reach for more in their own lives. Think about it. When you're around someone who's happy, confident, and successful, how does it make you feel? Doesn't it make you believe that more is possible for you too? That's the ripple effect of raising your own vibration. So don't hold back. Don't dim your light. The world needs you to be your best, most abundant, most joyful self. Because when you're living at your highest potential, you inspire others to do the same. Now, let's talk about something that often gets in the way of us relaxing, trusting, and expecting great things. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown. These fears can keep us stuck, can keep us playing small. It's just a thought. It's not real. It's a projection of the mind based on past experiences or imagined future scenarios. And just as you can choose to think thoughts of lack or abundance, you can choose whether or not to believe your fears. When fear comes up and it will, don't try to fight it or push it away. Instead, acknowledge it. Thank it for trying to protect you and then choose to focus on trust instead. Choose to believe that no matter what happens, you have the strength and resilience to handle it. Remember, every time you choose trust over fear, you're rewiring your brain. You're creating new neural pathways that support your new empowered reality. And speaking of the brain, let's talk about neuroplasticity for a moment. This is the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. What this means is that your brain is constantly changing based on your thoughts, experiences, and behaviors. When you consistently practice relaxation, trust, and positive expectation, you're literally changing the structure of your brain. You're creating new neural pathways that support these states of being. And the more you practice, the stronger these pathways become. This is why consistency is so important. It's not about having one great meditation session or one day where you feel really positive. It's about making these practices a regular part of your life. It's about choosing again and again to focus on what you want rather than what you don't want. Now, I want to address something that often comes up when people start this work. They'll say, but Joe, I've tried to think positively before and nothing changed. And I hear you, I really do. But here's what I want you to understand. This work isn't just about thinking positive thoughts. It's about aligning your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. You see, your thoughts create your feelings. Your feelings drive your actions, and your actions create your results. So if you're thinking positive thoughts but still feeling fearful or doubtful, your actions will reflect that fear and doubt, and your results will match. That's why it's so important to not just think about what you want, but to feel it, to embody it, to live as if it's already your reality. Because when your thoughts, feelings, and actions are all aligned, that's when you become unstoppable. This work isn't about forcing yourself to feel happy all the time. It's not about denying your negative emotions or pretending everything is perfect when it's not. It's about acknowledging where you are, accepting it, and then consciously choosing where you want to go from there. If you're feeling sad or angry or frustrated, allow yourself to feel those emotions. Don't try to push them away, but also don't get stuck in them. Feel them, 
acknowledge them and ask yourself, what would I rather feel instead? And how can I move towards that feeling? This is where the power of choice comes in. In every moment, you have the power to choose your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. You have the power to choose what you focus on and what you focus on expands. So focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. Focus on where you're going, not on where you've been. Focus on what's possible, not on what's limiting you. And remember, this isn't about ignoring reality or living in denial. It's about understanding that your perception creates your reality. Two people can look at the exact same situation and see completely different things based on their mindset and beliefs. So choose to see the good. Choose to see the opportunities. Choose to see the lessons in every experience. Because when you do that, you open yourself up to a whole new world of possibilities. Now, let's talk about energy for a moment. Everything in the universe is energy, vibrating at different frequencies, and like attracts like. This means that the energy you put out into the world is what you'll attract back to you. If you're vibrating at a frequency of stress, worry, and lack, you'll attract more experiences that match that frequency. But if you're vibrating at a frequency of peace, joy, and abundance, you'll attract experiences that match that instead. So how do you raise your vibration? It starts with your thoughts and feelings, as we've discussed, but it also involves taking care of your physical body, eating nourishing foods, getting enough sleep, exercising regularly. All of these things affect your energy and your ability to maintain a high vibration. Meditation is another powerful tool for raising your vibration. When you meditate, you quiet the chatter of your mind and tap into a field of pure potential. You align yourself with the energy of the universe, and in doing so, you raise your own vibration. When you raise your vibration, you don't just affect yourself. You affect everyone and everything around you. You become like a lighthouse radiating positive energy and inspiring others to raise their vibration too. Now, I want to talk about something that often trips people up on this journey. The need for certainty. We humans love certainty. We want to know exactly how things are going to turn out. We want guarantees. But here's the truth. Life is inherently uncertain. And that uncertainty... But here's the truth. Life is inherently uncertain. And that uncertainty is actually a gift. It's what makes life exciting, full of possibilities. When you can embrace uncertainty, when you can see it as an adventure rather than a threat, that's when you open yourself up to true miracles. Think about it. If you knew exactly how everything was going to turn out, where would be the excitement? Where would be the growth? Where would be the opportunity for the universe to surprise you with something even better than what you could have imagined? So instead of seeking certainty, seek trust. Trust in yourself. Trust in the universe. Trust that everything is always working out for your highest good, even if you can't see how in the moment. The concept of surrender. Now, surrender doesn't mean giving up or being passive. It means letting go of the need to control everything. It means trusting in a higher power, whether you call that God, the universe, source energy, or something else. When you surrender, you release the tension of trying to make things happen. You allow yourself to be guided. You open yourself up to receive. And often, what comes to you when you surrender is far greater than what you could have achieved through force or control. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Joe, I have goals. I have things I want to achieve. How can I surrender and still work towards my goals? And that's a great question. The key is to set your intentions, to be clear about what you want, and then to release attachment to how it comes about. Do your part. Take inspired action, but then let go and trust that the universe will take care of the rest. It's like planting seed. You prepare the soil, you plant the seed, you water it, you make sure it gets sunlight, but you don't dig up the seed every day to see if it's growing. You trust in the natural process. You know that in time, if you've done your part, the plant will grow. Your dreams and goals are like that seed. Plant them with clear intention. Nourish them with your thoughts and actions, but then trust in the process. Trust that they're growing even if you can't see the results yet. And this brings us to another crucial aspect of manifesting your desires. Patience. In our fast-paced world, we often want everything to happen instantly. We set an intention, and then we want to see results right but remember, just because you can't see something happening doesn't mean nothing is happening. Often the biggest changes are happening beneath the surface, like that seed germinating underground before it breaks through the soil. 
So be patient with yourself and with the process. Trust that everything is unfolding in perfect timing. And in the meantime, enjoy the journey. Find joy in the present moment rather than always looking to the future for your happiness. Now, let's talk about something that can really accelerate your manifestations. Gratitude. Gratitude is like a magnet for miracles. When you're grateful for what you have, you open yourself up to receive even more. Start and end each day with gratitude. Before you get out of bed in the morning, think of three things you're grateful for. As you're falling asleep at night, review your day and find things to appreciate. And throughout your day, look for things to be grateful for. At first, you might have to really search for things to appreciate, especially if you're going through a challenging time. But the more you practice gratitude, the more automatic it becomes. You'll start to notice beauty and blessings everywhere you look. That's things to start being grateful for things before they happen. Be grateful for the job you want as if you already have it. Be grateful for the perfect health you desire as if it's already your reality. Be grateful for the loving relationship you're calling in as if your partner is already by your side. This is what it means to live in the end result. It's about feeling the feelings of having what you want before it manifests in your physical reality. And when you can do this, you become an unstoppable force of creation. Now, I want to address something that often comes up when people start seeing results with this work. They'll manifest something they've been wanting, and then they'll start to doubt. They'll think, was that just a coincidence? Did I really create that? There are no coincidences. Everything that happens in your life is a result of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Everything is a reflection of your inner world. So when you start to see positive changes in your life, celebrate them. Acknowledge your role in creating them. Because when you do this, you reinforce your belief in your own power. You strengthen your faith in the process. And you open yourself up to create even more amazing things. Remember, what you appreciate, appreciates. So the more you acknowledge and appreciate the good things in your life, the more good things you'll attract. Now, let's talk about something that can really supercharge your manifestations. The power of your words. The words you speak are like spells that you cast on your life. They have the power to create or destroy, to heal or harm. Pay attention to the words you use, both when you're talking to others and when you're talking to yourself. Are you constantly complaining? Are you speaking about lack and limitation? Or are you using words of abundance, possibility, and gratitude? Make a conscious effort to speak in a way that aligns with what you want to create. Instead of saying, I can't afford that, try that's not a priority for me right now. Instead of I'm so stressed, try I'm learning to handle challenges with grace. And most importantly, be mindful of how you talk to yourself. Your self-talk shapes your reality more than anything else. Speak to yourself with kindness, encouragement, and love. Be your own biggest cheerleader. Now, I want to address something that often comes up when people start this work. They'll say, but Joe, what about my past? I've made mistakes. I've had setbacks. How can I move past that? And here's what I want you to understand. Your past does not define your future. Your past experiences have shaped who you are, yes, but they don't determine who you can become. Every moment is a new beginning. Every breath is an opportunity to start fresh. You are not your past mistakes or failures. You are not your limiting beliefs or old patterns, you are a powerful creator capable of reinventing yourself at any moment. So instead of dwelling on the past, use it as a springboard for growth. What lessons have you learned? How have your challenges made you stronger? How can you use your experiences to fuel your growth and help others? When you can reframe your past in this way, it no longer holds you back. Instead, it becomes a powerful tool for transformation. Now, let's talk about something that's crucial for maintaining this practice over the long term. Self-care, taking care of yourself, isn't selfish. It's necessary. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't radiate positive energy if you're depleted. So make self-care a priority. This means different things for different people. It might mean taking time for meditation or exercise. It might mean saying no to commitments that drain you. It might mean spending time in nature or pursuing a hobby you love. Whatever self-care looks like for you, make it non-negotiable. Schedule it into your day, just like you would any other important appointment. Because when you take care of yourself, you have so much more to give to others and to your dreams. And remember, self-care isn't just about your physical health. It's about your mental and emotional health, too. 
pay attention to the thoughts you're feeding your mind. Are you constantly consuming negative news or engaging in gossip? Or are you feeding your mind with inspiring books, uplifting conversations, and positive affirmations? Your mind is like a garden. What you plant and nourish is what will grow. So be intentional about what you're planting in your mental garden. Now, as we start to wrap up, I want to remind you of something important. This work is a journey, not a destination. There will be ups and downs. There will be days when you feel on top of the world and days when you struggle to stay positive. And that's okay. That's part of the human experience. The key is not to judge yourself for having these fluctuations, but to observe them with compassion and curiosity. On the days when you're feeling great, really lean into that feeling. Amplify it. Let it fill every cell of your body. And on the days when you're struggling, be gentle with yourself. Remember that this too shall pass. And use the tools we've discussed, meditation, gratitude, positive self-talk, to help shift your energy. Remember, you're not trying to be perfect. You're not trying to feel amazing 100 of the time. You're simply committing to a practice of conscious creation. You're choosing again and again to focus on what you want rather than what you don't want. And as you do this consistently, you'll start to notice changes. Maybe at first it's just small things. You feel a little more peaceful. You handle stress a little better. You notice more moments of joy throughout your day. But as you continue this practice, as you make it a regular part of your life, you'll start to see bigger changes. Opportunities will start to present themselves. People will be drawn to your energy. Things that used to bother you won't affect you as much. And before you know it, you'll look around and realize that your life has transformed, not because you struggled and pushed and forced things to happen, but because you relaxed, trusted, and expected great things to come to you. So I invite you, starting today, to make this your practice, relax into the flow of life. Trust that everything is always working out for your highest good and expect miracles to happen, not someday in the future, but right here, right now. Remember, you are the creator of your reality. You have the power to shape your life in any way you choose. So choose wisely. Choose thoughts that empower you. Choose feelings that uplift you. Choose actions that align with your highest vision for yourself. Most importantly, choose to believe in yourself. Because when you believe in yourself, when you truly know your own power, there's nothing you can't achieve. So go forth and create. Relax and trust. Expect miracles and watch as your life transforms in ways you never thought possible. The universe is waiting to support you. All you have to do is open yourself up to receive. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for committing to this journey of transformation. And remember, every moment is a new opportunity to choose again, to align with your highest self, and to create the life of your dreams. You've got this. Now go out there and shine your light. The world is waiting for your unique gifts. Embrace your power and let the magic unfold.